Hello, everybody. We are back in Italiano. Italy, Italian, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I did do a couple things. Obviously, we're pruning the bur pruning the, the bushes, pruning the grapes. We already got the white grapes done over there. But yeah, moving along. I'm like, oh, uh, it's time to prune these things. This is always fun. It's not terrible, it just takes some time, is what it really comes down to. Well, it's alright, but as you can see, we already got all the white grapes done. This is just part of the edge of the field. So we'll finish up these. The red grapes got a couple little spots there, a little spot there, then just a little more off to the side. Canola is working it, but uh, canola is not available until harvest until July, so we're in March. Just a few months away, so we're not too far off. So, uh, yeah, we, we're doing some doing some work, putting some work in. Went ahead and refilled the waters and all the animals, too. Uh, we did sell the manure and uh, slurry. I don't think we got... Uh, I think we barely got enough to cover the cost of the leasing fees with the equipment that we used. Hey, it worked. Got rid of that. It's, well, I didn't realize this one only does 40,000 liters of uh, manure. It's been stuck at 40,000 liters for like a couple months now, or even a year or more. I don't know. So I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna get down there, get that crap out of there. <laughs> the slurry pit though was interesting because it actually dropped it down. It was kind of funky watching it actually slub down. And then when I took it down to the biogas plant, the bajay, bugger, <laughs> it filled it back up. So I was like, man, I should probably have invested into that. Then again, the biogas plant's over a million dollars for that thing alone. It's like, whoa. So, yeah, we got, um. So, like, here. Where? So, you can see the body. You can see a little bit of it now, but this thing was up. Or, I mean, almost up to that where the line is at, actually. That's crazy. And I'm in there. It's definitely higher than that. But if we go down to the biogas plant. Oops, I got out here. Should be able to see. So that slurry wasn't in there. I filled it in there. It's kind of gross. Oh, it looks gross, doesn't it? It's got straw in it and everything. <laughs> uh, that's great. Anyway. <laughs> got the liquid poo with some straw in it. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> but no. Anyway. Gross. <laughs> the animals are doing well. We got those guys running along. Oh, we got to run that a horse, too. Sheep are trucking along. Let's see, I think we're... Yeah, we're just... I like doing it this way because I can put one in the front, one in the back, and they got a little angle, bing, two rows at once. Yeah, but I wish we could do harvesters like this. It'd be amazing, balls. It'd be amazing. But we can't. So sheep, uh, like I said, just filled up the water, too, so that's cool. This thing is, there's 150 sheep in another running through the water pretty quick. And they're almost halfway through period. Okay, they're not bad. Pigs are moving along too pretty quick, so man, they're, yep, they just had some new ones this month. Ooh, look at that, almost full of it. Man. 18 months, here we are, so almost a thousand bucks a pig. Not oh, bad, 20 grand right there per pig. Almost 20 grand. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Cows, we got some, yeah, pretty production, okay. So those pigs are about to have another 20 of them. Jeez Louise. It's 80 now. We're about to be at 100. About 100. Cool. Horse needs a little, little run time. We'll take care of that too and we're good. But we're trucking along here. I don't have my little helper girl, unfortunately. Poor little thingy. Not every time we get to hang out, so that sucks. But I think it just depends on the vehicle too. But hey, is your spot for her? I usually try to make sure so that we can... Let's spend a little time together. She's a bit of the paw. I'm kind of digging her. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's been a blossoming thing, as you can tell, as you may have noticed over the last few episodes or so. Uh, her dad's been gracious to give us some pigs to help take care of and uh, whatever they grow. So I'm gonna talk to him about selling some of them because they're starting to get. Trying to get some pigs moving along here. Now, I as long as we don't sell his, but I think if we give him some younger ones and keep them running, I think we'll be all right. Let's we'll have to ask him. 
But uh, other than that, yeah, with the animals, everything's doing well. We're coming along here and uh, doing good. I think, thankfully, her dad likes me. It's <laughs> always a good thing. I think he bought a horse for technically her, but it's a surprise for her. So we're going to show her uh, hopefully sometime later on this month or maybe next month. We will see. And then uh, go from there. So let's take a look in here where we're at. Oh, yeah. All right. And you can see clean as a cell. <laughs> so we're going to finish these all up. These, this, there's a couple of grape spots up there and another little field area up top there. So once we're done with this, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Grapes will be ready for the next season. And we'll see where we're going to go from there. Um, just over a million dollars left on this farm. We're come down from five down to a million and sixty. One million sixty thousand some change. Not bad. So we'll do some more contracts. We got over a hundred and five contracts already done. So that's pretty good. We're helping people out, and they're helping us out. We'll go both ways. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna finish these contract or finish these grapes up. Actually, get these all pruned up, and go from there. But we'll finish these up and see you back on the farm here in just a little bit. So we decided to do another some more contracts. Here we get a couple fertilizer ones, but as you can see there's our uh, massive property up on the hill there. <laughs> the five million dollar property that we're down to a million dollars left to pay now. But anyway, we're good. <laughs> so we're taking care of a couple contracts here doing this and uh we have our little sweetheart with us. Hey, how you doing, baby? She doesn't like it when I call her that. How you doing, sweetheart? How you doing, honey? I don't know, whatever. Either way. <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> she knows I don't talk to her like that. She just knows I'm trying to talk to my friends that are out there watching the videos. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she's been, we've been doing really well. We've been enjoying each other's company and enjoying things. So her dad seems to really like me too. He's been offering, he's offered kind of an opportunity here. We're trying to see what's going on. Since I've been taking care of the farm and he sees how I've been doing, especially taking care of the, the grapes, because, like I said, I mean, if you look at the map, most of the grapes, unfortunately, have been left out to pasture. Nobody's been messing with them. The white grapes up there, and then the regular. <laughs> but ours are nice and ready to go. We keep ours clean. Ah, uh, it's just part of the map. So he's been pretty impressed with all that. Same with the animals and everything. It's keeping up with stuff um, best we can. Obviously, we've been really tight with everything. So he's been, he's been talking about possibly investing a little bit and see what happens, though. Since we've been paying down this loan and keep it steady with it, he sees that there's a profit to be made. But also, I'm struggling. To, well, I'm keeping it going. I'm not struggling as much, obviously, because the more contracts we do, we're not spending as much. I mean, hell, we were paying twelve to fourteen thousand dollars a day for the loan, and now we're down to a few, you know, a few thousand or maybe even a. Not quite a thousand at this point, I think, but so we're doing a much, much better on that. So he's pretty excited to see what we can work with. So he's wanting to invest a little bit. So I'm pretty stoked about that one, that's for sure. And then uh, we'll move on from that point. But you know, she, he's been talking about, and you know, we've been hinting a little bit, both of us, because he thinks I'm a good fit for his daughter. Because apparently she talks about me, and I'm like, I kind of like her a little bit. You know, she's pretty cute. <laughs> So we've been uh, discussing possibility of uh, a little more there. And her and I have been talking about it, not just her and her dad, but her dad's been pretty impressed with things. So I, I don't know why. I'm like, sort of just doing what I'm doing, helping people out and doing what we can around here. But uh, yeah, we've been working it, working the stuff off. And you know, we got sweet little redhead there. She's a pretty girl with the pink shirt. <laughs> So we've been working on those things and uh, talking about some stuff. So he talked about doing something to help out with the farm. So we'll see what happens. Um, I think we're looking in the next month. Let's, let's take a look where we're, where we're at with the uh, harvest stuff. So we can't harvest the canola until July. So we may try and go into July and get that canola harvested at least and get that pump through. But um, And then the grapes we can harvest September. So we're moving along with those again. September, cool. All right, cool. So, um, there's not much more to do. Just fertilize the stuff until we get to July, huh? And everything's going to be ready to harvest. 
cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, close out on that one. And, uh, yeah, close the contract out. We'll get back to work on the farm here. And, uh, oh, I gotta go ride the horse. So we gotta do that real quick, too. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, just, just hanging with my sweetheart. I mean, obviously I get back to work, so I can't just be sitting here. She comes along when I'm, when I'm, when I'm doing contracts, and I got a vehicle that can hold both of us. <laughs> she's, she's cool. She's kind of quiet sometimes, but we get to talk, and it's pretty cool, but. Either which way, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and finish these contracts out and then uh, move on from there. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, I think we'll, like I said, we think we might just go ahead and go to July to get the canola harvested, but we'll move forward and see what we need to do, and uh, we'll see you all in a little bit. Alright, so we just went ahead and got the some water for the animals, get them all taken care of. Um, interesting, too, is... This is May, which happens to be my birth month. Yay! Depends on how old you think I am. <laughs> but uh, either way, um, talk to. Oh, gotta get this down here. Talk to my girl's dad. I guess you can call her my girl now since we've been hanging out and everything. Girlfriend, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. I know it sounds weird saying that in real life, but both. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're we're spending time together. She's staying here, and we're you know, like I said, I know it's been tight because of uh, what I did with the uh, whole. Uh... Here, let me go ahead and go into debt and ruin my life for that stuff. <laughs> so. Uh, talking with her, though, and her dad... Sorry, I just tried to take the horse out. I got... Sometimes just helps clear the head, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... He's offered, like I said, we talked about investment, which is a really cool idea, which is great. Oh, look at that. Canola's popping. Nice, nice, nice yellow. Um... So, apparently, for my birthday, he's offered to pay that... We're down to a million dollars left on it right now. I haven't done much for contracts otherwise. I mean, we've done some, of course, but keep paying down that thing. We're right at a million dollars. He said he'll pay that off as an investment. Now, that's a pretty doggone big deal. Now, also, with that, um, he's... With the investment part of it, it's going to be a million dollars on that stuff. But, also, he's asking my plans with his daughter, so... We're going to need to do some type of uh, possible wedding-ish type thing, so uh, don't mark my words. I need to talk to her obviously before we go to the hotline. Because <laughs> that would be weird. But yeah, so we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna have a uh... wow. It's just, something's gonna happen here. <laughs> it's tucked down here. This isn't our area, but you can tell the difference between ours. Nice, crisp, clean grape vines, and then over here, not so much. And with that, I think he's Looking to possibly expand that. It's a lot of grapes. It's a lot of extra work, but I don't blame them. It's for good money and wine and stuff on here. The whole point of Italy, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, move forward to that level. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. We're gonna talk to him later on today. I said I'd take the horse out for a spin. You kind of help clear the head and go around the areas here and just kind of relax. But. So we're gonna we're gonna talk to him and go from that point. We're gonna get the investment settled in, basically get the the loans gonna be paid off. And technically, that's gonna be part of. Say we do go to the wedding thing. Like I said, I need to talk to her before we go that far. We've been dating. We've kind of talked about some things, of course, yes, throughout the the years and the time on here. But I think it was gonna be this quick, and her dad was gonna be that open to it, but wow. So either way, we're going to go ahead and take care of those issues and uh, talk to our dad and go from there. So this is going to complete this season of this and uh, see what we want to do to follow up afterwards. So, but um, yeah. So uh, that's going to be an interesting time. So we'll get you back, go back to you with the information, the answers, and uh, the actual details of what's going to happen once we start again. So don't forget to like, subscribe, say hello. Let me know how you're doing. What's going on in your world? Hope you have a great day, morning, night, evening, whatever you got going on while you're watching this. 
Don't forget to tune in for the next round and see what happens. Thank you guys very so much again. Really, really appreciate it. And, uh, take care, and we'll catch you next time. From Italy. Mia Mori is waiting for me. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.